what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so nev campbell recently today had a sit down with a few different outlets uh collider and the hollywood reporter i'm going to be speaking about something she shared with collider she basically gave some clarification on what's actually going on with these negotiations and the conversations uh, that she's having with um our new screen five directors matt Benelli and tyler gillett um she's she basically gave some clarity on what she was actually talking about and she explained it in a different way than what she actually did uh last week when we all were excited about her potentially coming back on board for screen five uh so during like a recent sit down she had today uh, she she basically had this to say about the whole project and the negotiations she stated and i quote well i'm not 100 percent on it but to be honest the two directors uh speaking of course of already or not directors who are helming the upcoming film uh the two directors have made some great work she's watched their film she says i've watched their films and they're really talented uh and then she gets into quite honestly is probably what led to her getting back on board and or not getting back on board but like having the interest in to at least negotiate and discuss the chance of her coming back on uh she said that they wrote a letter to her they wrote a letter to me expressing what great fans of wes's work that they are um and how honored they are that they're getting the chance to make screen five because the screen franchise is the reason that they're directors now so that was really sweet to me uh they really want to honor wes's style of work and honor the movies that was a lovely thing to hear so we'll see hopefully we can all see eye to eye on everything and make something great but it's a process now basically what she's getting at here is how of course with everything being uncertain due to the outbreak and basically we all it's all but been confirmed that production on the film was halted because we all know the film was supposed to start uh shooting this may in north carolina and that of course has not happened we haven't even gotten any any other casting news or anything or any details regarding anything outside of the fact of just little little bits here and there starting all the way back late last year um but yeah that's that's some that's some nice clarity to have on what she actually was referring to last week and the actual situation that's going on uh so essentially it's it's all a wait a wait and see type of deal it's not nev campbell isn't officially on board with screen five but of course it's it's basically all but confirmed it's not a matter of if she's going to come back it's a matter of will she be able to and when are they going to start shooting this shooting this movie when are they going to be allowed to shoot this movie that's all that they're really waiting on um and i feel like also during this negotiation process again she probably wants to handle sydney she probably wants the character of sydney to be handled in a way that pays honor and respect to how Wes craven treated the character in screen one through four so for those people that are worried about sydney dying i probably don't think we're going to see that happen as much as i think that would probably be a shocking turn for the series i wouldn't want to see sydney die but if it happened um uh, i wouldn't be necessarily against it but i would be against her dying in a way that is not true to that character and in a way that is just very weak i feel like sydney has been through a, a whole lot over the past uh several years and several uh movies that we've gotten and gotten to know this character and she's been through a lot in in this series so if she's gonna die which i don't think she should die um uh, if she does end up dying then i would of course do it in a way that is fitting to that character make her go out with a big bang something that would fit the level of sydney prescott that we know she's not sydney prescott is not always this even when she's terrified what i like about that character is how the the character takes her fear and she turns it into strength and she overcomes her fears and she she fights back against the villain and she's just she's like the best final girl that i've ever seen in a horror genre in a horror film honestly she's my favorite nev campbell brings the character to life in such a magnificent way because nev campbell is an amazing actress uh but i'm looking forward to seeing what all is going to come down and what what is actually going to happen with this fifth movie also during this sit down nev campbell kind of basically hinted at the kind of direction that scream 5 could be taking basically nodding at the fact that this could end up being another sequel um uh, she basically had these comments to say about the character of sydney prescott um uh, i think you can always tell them more with these stories and they're they're such fun films they're obviously a huge audience there's obviously a huge audience for them and the audiences want to see more of them uh you can always go further with the journey certainly with sydney 
she comes to some new shift in her life at the time and i don't know we'll see uh so that last bit is kind of what got everyone thinking oh this is this is another tease that lets us know that we're going to be going in the sequel route it's going to be a continuation from screen four she says that sydney she comes to a new shift in her life so basically suggesting that she's seen little tidbits and she's heard the ideas that they have for for sydney and she she more than likely is approving of approving of those ideas because of the fact that she is uh feeling comfortable to at least talk about them here in the interview but maybe there's some fine tweaks she wants to have done uh that not only respects what matt ben Nelly and uh, Tyler Gillen have come to her with, but also something that would combine the essence of Wes Craven and be something that's going to pay tribute and homage to what he has done with the character of Sidney Prescott in the last four films. Um, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. Also, uh, let me know what you guys think about our Ready or Not directors, our new Screen 5 directors being fans of the genre or being fans of this series and them basically stating that Scream is the reason why they got involved in filmmaking and that's why we got movies like Ready or Not from them uh, and many other movies that I hope they come out with even after they're done touching the Scream franchise. Um, I'm not really that surprised, honestly, based off what they did with Ready or Not. It's not shocking to hear that they're big fans of the Scream series. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.